Is he still, Is he alive? still alive? He was he when was Olga brought him in. I've checked, I've checked everything, everything, including the including genome, genome data, data, but there's nothing on this guy. NSA, CIA, FBI. He doesn't exist in any database. He's a non-existent operative from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? <laughs> This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You... know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills. Everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s, a civil war. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? <laughs> In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nanocommunication.
Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. That was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No. The Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops. Betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that, actually. I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later, but I wonder if you'll handle the truth. What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. Ugh, <clears throat> uh, it's always the blonde women when you're tied up naked. Must be a thing for Kojima. Sharing his... <laughs> Man, these achievements are just beautiful. I wonder who came up with them. You don't get some of the memes? You don't get some of the plot? Don't worry. If you get the plot, you won't get the plot. So, enjoy the plot. Oh, God. Here we go. Jack, are you alright? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember. I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was. But I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. 
Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight, except that someone put a gun in my hand. And that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK. But I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <laughs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. Jack. I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. Told you what? That I'm a killer? And always have been? No. No. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. I didn't know anything about you, I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. <laughs> it's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. Oh, God, it's like a Korean drama. Next thing you know, one of them will get cancer, and then one of them will go blind, and then the other person will give their eyes to the other person, and then they'll play that love ballad, and everyone cries. Hey, by the way, check this out. <laughs> oh, God. Literally, people used to do this for, like, hours. Try to see if he has, you know what I mean? Like, good times. Good times. Jack, I guess Hail. we need to save. Oh God, we're gonna get that treatment, aren't we? Everyone's a bit like, oh my God, oh my God. Is he naked? Yes, Becky, he is naked. You missed a good 20 minutes. He is naked Take now. Take care, Jack.
When a woman says take care, you know you're in trouble. Get your equipment back first or you won't be able to do much good. Rendezvous with that man and retrieve your gear. Olga said that man would be waiting up ahead, if I recall. Get out of the room and head north. I love how he says that man. He doesn't even give him his name. That man. You are that man. I don't even know who O'Doyle is. Arsenal gear. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? that I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Someone approve that comment, please. Raiden, turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry, it's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? Huh? Fine. Forget it. Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? Oh. Ah! Nani! something I have been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... Fuck, I'm a fucking hard mode piece of shit. Don't you just hate it when you're no, naked? This isn't happening. In a giant Jack, you have to military me. thing, Jack, and Jack. you get shot by a bunch of Russians in P90s dressed like a ninja. Russians, am I right? It doesn't help the fact that this is hard mode. And they're all hooked up with Arsenal gear. Get it? Arsenal gear? They're wearing Arsenal gear. Can I keep calling him? 
Honestly, though. Commander, we've spotted Actually, a naked man. There is something. President Baker should be somewhere to the south of where you blasted through the wall. Hurry and save him before the terrorists discover his code. Snake. Remember what de Gaulle said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You seem to get a real thrill out of slaughtering the enemy. Are you frustrated about something? You wouldn't be trying to give yourself a bogus score using some ingenious trick, would you? That's just about as low as anyone could possibly stoop. I can't believe you sometimes. Yeah. Just don't go Achu, please. We are so fucked if you go Achu. Fuck! Actually, I'm in really bad shape financially. I pay money to my ex-wife as part of our divorce settlement, among other bills. I just had no choice but to make you pay for lunch the other day. I'm really sorry. My god, they're trying to red pill us. Ah! Arsenal's crotch. I mean... The fuck, there's a camera? Oh, you gotta be shitting me! No, wait, that's upset. If he goes a chew, we are screwed. Kawanishi, Kosabuchi, Kino no Gibash, Takiyama, Ugusun Mori, Suzu Mikatari, Taba, Yorano, Ichino Tori, Umino, Yamashika, Sasabe, Kafudai, Tokodai, Miyoke Buchi. Bloody sneaking missions! I'm Russian! I mean Slavic! I mean, give me an assault rifle! This is against my fundamental human rights! I'm not made for sneaking, I'm made for killing! Alright, there are the stairs. Let's see. An anemone or clematis plant's juice can cause a rash. When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy's path down. I need to get up there. Without him fucking spotting me. Fuck, 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 fuck,
No, I'm not turning it off. Honestly. No. Come on, give me the one I want. You seem to get a real uh, mother fudger. Oh come on! Oh come on! Oh come on! That is just not kosher. A camera and a oh come on! That is not cool. That is just fucked. <laughs> oh, come on. That's fucked, admit it. How am I supposed to do that? Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Oh, fuck me! This is impossible! I can't not get discovered in that. Infiltrate the enemy fortress, Outer Heaven. Destroy the final weapon, Metal Gear. There's, I, I really need to get that one meme one. Infiltrate oh, the right. enemy fortress. Outer. Oh, do I have to be on the stairs? Variety left. Or is it in the next room? You seem to get a re. Okay, I might have done that on purpose, but. Fuck. It might be in the next room. It might be. Fuck it! Rush B! I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw Space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. Alright, we got all of them. Fuck it! I don't care, slub mode it is. Rush B! There we go, we rushed B, did it. Done, I don't care. Fuck stealth. Variety left. We got most of them. Alright, this is. P people used to literally. I was a North American fall webworm in my past life. Oh, those were the good old days. What were you in your former life? People used to do this for hours here. This people used to do this. <laughs> Fucking people. You got a PSG one? You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Uh, don't make me emotional like that. Come on, don't mention that. We don't mention that. We don't talk about that. Not funny. Actually, there is something I've been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... Oh no! The video of the Japanese model is gone! President Baker should be somewhere to the south of where you blasted through the wall. Hurry and save him before the terrorists discover his code. I was a northern. I think I got all the codec calls, so we're good. Uh -oh. Jack, it's me. Uh -oh. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, 
It wasn't a coincidence. Kills! I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose, yes. It's an ugly word. <sighs> Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. <sighs> like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. <laughs> They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine-tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this, this artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? Ugh. It's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey, I understand. But I have nothing left to- Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long? <laughs> Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. <sighs> Not happy about that? Get over it. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? Twenty-five, according to Olga. Twenty-five? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before. But I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. <laughs> We're so fucked! Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. 
Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. He's bleeding out of his ass. Damn kid. Come on. What are you doing? I got an idea. Damn it! Come on, time to go. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. <laughs> Kojima's Wait humping up, the fourth wall at this point. What? Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No, it was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit, just like you. People will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder, not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake, starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? He's having an existential crisis in the middle of a mission. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Find something to believe in and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. That's Come a good on. teacher. You show the path, but you don't walk it. But that's just my opinion. Why are you using a pistol? Bad Raiden. Use an AK. Snake. Raiden. Otacon. You alright? Yeah. So are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? Alright for now. But there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. 14112. Uh oh. Slav mode it is. Push yourself. Suck a cock!
Ammo, please. Ammo. Fuck it. Now, go. Right. Take the item. Oh, so you give me RPG ammo, but you don't give me AK ammo, you fucking American bastard. AK! Ammo! Ammo! AK ammo! Yel preacher shruski! My eba shooty matter! Okay, M4 ammo! Fuck you! Get in there! Fucking slob mode it is. Ah! Don't bring a sword to a grenade launcher fight. Ammo! Motherfucker. Ten? Give me more! That is the slav way. You grab a fucking rocket launcher. Ammo! Ammo! We are so fucked. No wonder he was using a SOCOM. Don't push yourself. Fuck. Alakma! <laughs> We're getting demonetized for that. <laughs> We're so fucked. Where's the sword when you need it? Well, maybe if you gave me some ammo, you can't. Right. Are you all right? Answer me. Right. If you're out of ammo, I will give you some. The biggest betrayals in anime history. <laughs> Top 10 anime betrayals. Fucking solid snake. Right. Me... Oh, you like giving me a four bullets, you can't. You all right. Bloody Americans. The M4 is inferior. To the far superior AK. Me. Fuck this big guy. I hope he's gonna give me fucking rations. Did I glitch him before and he wasn't doing this shit? Okay, so he wants me using this one, but give me the AK then. Fuck it, ninjas, fuck it. Use this. Fuck you, Snake. What are you doing? I'm being slob, you asshole. What the fuck are you doing? Asshole. Gimme. Oh shit. Gimme the ration. Yeah. Uh, 
Ammo! 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 Ryman, come on! Ammo! Oh, fuck me! I shouldn't have done that. Ammo! What are you doing? Ammo, or we both die. Ammo! I need stingers! I would rather die than not have stingers. At this point. Kill me now. I need stingers. You die right. if you take the item. Well they give me the item, where is it? Alright, but give me a stinger though. Stinger. Get in there. If he doesn't give me a stinger, I'm killing myself. Fuck it, I don't want to live anymore. Ah! You know, I, I'm not going in there without stingers. Ryden! No, oh, Snake's just a cunt. <laughs> Snake's just being a cunt. Alright, let's do this. Don't push yourself. No, you can actually AFK at this point and Snake will just take care of it. You literally could. Can't aim this fucker. want to be left behind? You want to get shot? Don't push yourself. Wow, he seems to really love that um, grenade launcher. So do I. Oh yeah, he fucking loves the grenade launcher, it seems. He has a hard on for explosives. Get in there. Get in there. Right, take the oh. ammo. What? Like, I'm Slav, I'm completely fine with using grenade launchers. I have nothing against them. Use this. Something died. Something died. Yeah. Something's dead. Yeah, but you the matter. Don't push yourself. Don't fall behind. What are you doing? 
Snake bloody sucks sometimes. I never knew Snake could die. I've never seen him die before. Okay, he doesn't want to give me PSG 1 ammo. Right, catch. Is he going to give me Russian ammo? He seems to have a strong preference on ammo, it seems. He's racist. He only uses American weapons. How does he even die? I'm curious. Where's Matt in all this? I haven't seen him say anything in a little while. What's his comment on Snake's lack of AKs? Look at that. AKs are beauty. You're going in. Ah, fucking go up your ass. Don't fucking die, you piece of shit. Fucking die on me! God! He doesn't give me fucking ammo to work with! And then he fucking rush B tackles him and then fucking dies, fucking snake! Doesn't give me ammo, doesn't flank, doesn't. I'm dealing with children! Follow you to fucking die in death. <laughs> fucking sucks, that's what he does. Use this. Get in there. Use this. I'll take one. Fuck this cunt. Fucking snake. Hey, look, 69. I like it. Take the item. Suck, snake. Don't push yourself. Ammo! Ammo! A M M O! No wonder you die, you fucking bastard. You wanna give me some of this ammo? Fuck me. Man, this is gonna fucking suck balls. Hey, can you fuck off for a minute? What's going on? Snake! There's no fucking help in this cunt. We can't deal with stupidity of this magnitude. Don't fall behind. Get in there. What 
you doing? I'm sniping! You're clearly not helping with my lack of ammo. Right, take the item. Push yourself. Now, go! He doesn't have grenades either, but Get he gives me ammo. Don't fall behind. <laughs> he has all ammo, he's just not giving it to me for some fucking reason. See? I'm all out. Buggy as fuck. Get in there! Wait, what? No, not my gun! Gonna have a bad time. I don't want him to run up. If he runs up, he's basically fucked. Ninja vs AK! AK win! Snake, you can't have a health bar. Yes! Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point, it's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI, the so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The Colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The Colonel is, in part, your own creation cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the Colonel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Raiden, Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion, flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. You can drop this if you want. No. I can't do that. Let's go. And here comes the greatest plot twist on PlayStation 2. Raiden, they've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake, it's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then 
everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about? Oh! Yeah, but Becky, what is an android? It has an internal AI. So technically, he could be an android. An android is just a body for an AI. The same way that the human body is just a body for the brain. We are the brain, not the body. Think that's getting weird? Ha! 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 Variety level 7. Shoot down the space invaders. Training will have to be postponed if we are invaded by UFOs. Yeah, it's been with. Snake, there's a fort in the conveyor belt. The machine is automatically sorting cargo according to some system. Take a good look at the device. Big boss here. Enter the track on the bridge to the right. Over. Communicator Entertainment Program, Idea Spy 2.5, Episode 1. New York, here in the city where dreams come true and desires rule, something is being bought, sold, and thrown away, even as we speak. But behind the scenes of business as usual, the nefarious JE Corporation lines its already bloated coffers with profits from worthless products. As J.E. swindles yet another innocent into purchasing high-priced junk, the FBI mobilizes a top-secret task force to put a stop to the menace. Now, the city's best-kept secret spy is out there, briefed and ready to protect the people from J.E., the catalog of conspiracy. Just call him 2.5. Snake, like Shakespeare said, Nought's had, all spent. Where our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy, or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Oh. Where's Matt? I think his brain has been blown out and it's leaking out of his head. And little Jamie's here, too. <laughs> oh, God. I've been looking forward to seeing your reactions to this for so long. Like, literally, I've been waiting. I've just been waiting and looking at the chat the entire time. Like, when it hits them, it's gonna hit them. Oh, isn't that nice of them? They give me a ration. They give me a ration. They give me a pistol. He's not gonna give me jack shit. No. Of course not. He has infinite ammo. He doesn't give me anything. Fun. 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 Aren't you fun, Snake? It's alright, Lil' J. You're gonna have so much to enjoy when you get back from work. Yeah. Get comfy. Stupid pillow. Yeah. Yeah. Pillow. Yeah. yeah.
Corn Camping. Snake doesn't give you ammo, you turn into a fucking ninja. Fortune. It's been a long wait, Solid Snake. The root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one. And no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An endless nightmare. The only thing we live for is to see it end. Our wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Starting you, Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. You want eternal rest? I've got it right here. What are you gonna do? Bullets can't get near her. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Raiden, get out of here! Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire. Creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by VR regimen. Sound like someone you know, Jack? I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriots' puppets. But I've made use of you. And their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. Jack, 
Those days during the Civil War were as real as they come. Every day was absolute. Split between life and death. You ran from it. And now you've been led back to war by something less than real. Here we go. No more games, Jack. At least you know. Fuck. There's no reason to keep you alive now. I've given you a worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. <laughs> I had nightmares about this last night! Why do you even have a fucking pistol? Fucking look at them in the background!
respond. Right? Raiden! Welcome to hard mode. We're gonna give you a ration right where the fucking Metal Gear spawns. Enjoy. Fuck you. Wanna be a porn star? Fucking take it like a porn star. We're doing so well the first time. <laughs> we were doing so well the first time. Fuck it. You gotta be kidding me. lose my first move with advantage on this motherfucker. Fuck! Fucking far away! Or not? I'm 
Running low on ammo! I'm more worried about the middle one than anything. As soon as he dies... As soon as it- there we go, it's out, it's out, I can get my ration. Thank fucking god for that. Fires the missile, fires the missile! Challenger! Too close, too close, too close! One more, one more, one more, one more! Sukuma. Fucking motherfucker. I can't get in the middle, I need the middle, I need the middle, I need the middle. Get the fuck out, get the I need to take this one out. I need to take this one out, ASAP. One more, one more, one more. Done. Yes! Hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> this is suicide! Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, 
my child dies. You understand? The child. I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! Were they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! Huh? I know I'm going to help, but at least my child. I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. See you in hell! Enjoy the show, Jack. Let's pick up where we left off. Hmm? What's going on? What's wrong with it? AI, GW, it's out of control. What? What happened? Maybe some kind of virus. The Patriots? I don't know. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. Stupid machines! Bring him in. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, oh, we got. <sighs> oh, boy. Rectum, eh? Are you awake yet, Jack? <clears throat> GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. 
Oh boy. Fuck me. <clears throat> I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son. Yeah. <clears throat> What do you hope to hear? You know he doesn't know anything. It's not him I want the answers from. If you look to the left, it actually chokes you less because that's how you get out of the sky. What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh, really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. What? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names of the Patriots! <gasps> They were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless Arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> what exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it, but we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to reduce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training kernel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Ames and the President's deaths. The ninja. The computer virus that mimics Fox die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? Ames' own nanomachines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arranged for the appearance of the ninja as well. As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. 
As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of fox tie. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people, a sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. The project has no room for failures. What do you mean? Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into snake. Even rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius! And this training kernel would provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, Dead Cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. Solidus. You and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. All orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? Nothing that we didn't give you. What? Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic, or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged. You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been our puppet all along, just like Olga. No! You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. Hmm, thought I got her in the heart. It missed. Now I remember. Your heart's on the right. 
Waste of metal, my dear, but your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. Only cutting-edge technology. Retrieve Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try. been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken.
You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. Time to say goodbye! Liquid! Stop this thing! Hey, Snake! You coming? Alright, so that's our next donation goal and arsenal gear. We might need a few trillion dollars, but we'll get there. We'll get in touch with Elon Musk about it. Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence, the dawn of a new nation here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule, liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. 
Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called Les Enfants Terribles. Cloned from our father, with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. <coughs> Assassin's Creed. What? I say what? All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an Exxon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty! Awkward moment when he's not a bad guy. Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How is that possible? The AI was destroyed! Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, a base of evolution. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives, through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretation, slander. All this junk data preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context. The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. 
Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> That's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right then, explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best, and you got there all by yourself. <sighs> oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now we think for you. We are your guardians after all. You want to control human thought, human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is Selection for Societal Sanity. The S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you.
what you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy! You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the mob could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Raiden, there are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes. Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to... What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, triumphs, and defeats are nothing but byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Oof! And this was made before the year 2000! Jack, my son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. 
Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. It's time we were both free. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Where it gets really fun. Right, take Solidus down. Think about Olga's child and your Rosemary. You must win. Right, you have to beat Solidus. This is your last duty. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. We're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter, Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game. Exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now. It's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus.
tell I've played this a lot. You can tell I've played this too much. If you zoom in to this cutscene, you can actually find Vamp in the background really far away. who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. 
What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have, that decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Mm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Kuma 69! <laughs> I forgot about that. Anyone you know? No. Never heard the name before. Only the dankest I'll of dog tags. I'll pick my own name. And my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word. Even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up, we have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriot's identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. He's such a carpet! Yeah. He's such a carpet. He's the original Shuichi. See me for what I am, okay? I know.
Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. Took him long enough. Fucking idiot! You write that shit down in an encrypted file. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry, compassion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears only. The original carpet. The original Shuichi. And I bet Ecto just got to chill down his spine. But <laughs> on second viewing, it's so much better. It's, it's one of those things. And if you actually go back to the end of the last stream, when he has the last codec call with Rose, and he's talking about how he enjoys the killing, a part of him just enjoys ripping through the soldiers. If you, if you rewatch it or replay it, there's a lot of these little subtle things inside it that you otherwise wouldn't pick up the first playthrough. It, it, it's made to be replayed. And oh my god. Um, Supernova starts in two and a half hours. No, yeah, two and a half hours. David Hayter's gonna be there today at 4.30 doing a panel. Yesterday while I was at work, they had David Hayter and the voice for Roy Campbell. I forgot his name. So they're here in Sydney. So... What are we gonna ask them? Like, I'm gonna try to squeeze in a few questions, but what are we gonna ask David Hayter? Like, I, I was thinking of asking him, was there any point of the record, uh, during, uh, during any point of the Metal Gear Solid 2 recording, did you ever wanna punch Raiden in the face? We need to ask him something, so help me out here, guys. What are we gonna ask Snake? Because he will probably do it in a snake voice, so it needs to be good. We might only have one question, so it needs to be a good one. This was ladies and two. This was the MGS2, yeah. And I have to talk over the song, otherwise, you know, copyright. But yes, this was Metal Gear Solid 2: Sons of Liberty. And now that we have completed Metal Gear Solid 2: Sons of Liberty, we can play Metal Memes 2: Memes of Liberty. Which is what we've been waiting for the entire time. Now you don't leave before the end of the credits because you'll miss the post-credit thing. Which I believe Marvel took from MGS or someone took it from someone. It's a chicken egg sort of thing. But could you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> I mean, I will try to get a selfie with him. Um, I know the... what's his name? The guy that plays Wesker. I've gotten him to make me a video on Instagram. I've gotten him to retweet me on Twitter. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a selfie with De uh, David Hayter and then post it on Twitter and then get him to retweet it and then get him to subscribe. So I, I don't want it just to be like, oh yeah, subscribe to my channel. I want it to be like, let's have some fun with this. Cause later I want to actually ask him to say something, which would be fucking sweet on an actual HD recording. That would just be beautiful. I know he does shit like that. I know, I know he does, like, lines and stuff, so, I mean, every VA does, but, like, I want to make it, like, a special thing. Not, like, one of those random things. Oh, my voice is dead. I can't believe we got through those Metal Gear rays. I was worried. I was literally worried all week. All week, I had PTSD of the rays. Like, this time last week, I was basically thinking, when you start the fight, do I go shoot three legs, then shoot three heads? Or do I shoot two legs, two heads? Or do I go leg, head, leg, head, leg, head? Or is it leg, head, leg, jump, goes in the middle, head, shoot this leg, shoot him, shoot this... All week I was thinking about that fight. 
My brain has been preparing me all week through image training for that fight. Like, it is the first time you do it. Yeah, I wanted that one. Kuma, what happened? Kuma, Kuma! That would just be fucking epic. Oh, we should do. Yes, yes, yes. We should. We should. Sorry, why am I getting so excited? I'm gonna lose my voice. I was surprised you beat them so fast. I was fucking surprised. It's one of those fights where if you chain it, you can make it out alive. If you get chained, you're fucked. Have you noticed a few times when they fire missiles, and then the next one fires missiles, and the next one fires missiles, and then this one fires missiles? If you get chained like that, you're essentially fucked. You have to break that chain, and once you break their chain, and they keep rotating one out, you just keep taking out the other two. This one jumps out. A third one comes in. This one's jumped in. He's out. He's like wobbling. This one jumps in. He goes out. Two more jump. Once you get him into that type of rotation, they're fucked. Because I believe they only have three active rays at any given time. Or is it four, including the middle one? I'm not 100% sure. But I do know the mechanic of the fight is something you have to learn like the back of your hand. Get him to say 350 on recording. So, uh, so you want me to ask him to say, can I get about 350 in his snake voice? Okay, we're asking him for two things then. But that would be epic. In his snake voice. Can I get about 350? No, can you give Kuma about 350? Yeah, can you donate about 350? Maybe that. Maybe that. Originally, on the credits, it would say director, produced, and everything by Hideo Kojima. In the HD release, they say Konami. I'm salty, but yeah. So what did you guys think? Come on, honestly, what did you guys think? I know a lot of you did this blind. Uh, I know Ecto did this about one, two weeks ago blind, so we all know what he thought. But we're all reading those comments on Discord. Uh, we also we all saw Matt watching the replay during the week on Discord, and so we saw all those juicy comments. What did you guys honestly think of the ending? You guys that were blind and just watched this for the first time, I'm sure everyone wants to hear exactly what you thought. We're gonna have a little B voice chat session, but like right now, what are you feeling? What are you feeling? Uh, is your brain splattered across the table? Uh, are your jaws just like down, like an undead going? Blah, blah. What kind of state of mind are you guys in? Are you guys absolutely gone? Your brain hurts. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. You might have to watch it two, three times, to be honest. Um, days apart to soak it. Top four best games in the series. Oh yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2 is... I, I really hope they don't fuck up the movie. I really hope they don't fuck up the execution of this. They, be they better film it on scene. They better go to on scene and film it. Uh, I would take a trip to the US just to watch them film that scene. I would go to the US and I would want to get a selfie with Solidus. I would just, whoever the fuck plays Solidus, I want a selfie. I just want a fucking selfie. Like, you don't understand. Playing MGS4 helped you understand it better, yeah. Yeah, and keep in mind, we had to wait years in between every game. So we were playing this for years. See, director, Hideo Kojima. Konami Digital Entertainment. It's supposed to say Hideo Kojima. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with.
the human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Your brain's still intact? Okay. Let's see how you do with this. And then let me know how your brain goes. Beautiful. 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 I, I have to clap, even now. Here we go. Snake, you there? It's me. I've finished going over that disc. Did you find the Patriot's list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. What the hell? Oh, I even get spine chills now. Ugh. 12 hours, 56 minutes, 47 saves, holy fuck. 29 continues, 25 of those is after the Harrier fight, I shit you not. 37 alert modes, 251 people killed. Man, that's like, that's like gold and silver Pokemon, 33 rations. Our ranking is... Jaws! I'm a shark. Digital camera. So, uh, whose head is still on their bodies after that? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the replies. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm on top of this. I understand this. And it's just like, what? What? <laughs> I love that. I love that. I'm just wait I'm just waiting to hear people's reactions to this now. There's probably gonna be a paragraph of text going Nanny Alright, it's time for the memes of Liberty and now it's blue with Raiden. Alright, it's time for the memes now. We can do boss survival, we're not into that. This is one of my favorite. Uh, snake will be... Snake will be... Ooh, right a ninja. And we will have... Hmm... This might be fun. I figured out who it is. I figured out who they are. We'll do the intro. I actually edited out the Snake Eater video with the proper timing. I don't like the one they have on the HD collection. The timing's not correct. of liberty!
I actually fixed um, the intro for Snake Eater on the HD version. Isn't the timing isn't correct? The song starts playing after the video, or before the video, technically, because Konami had the gall of putting in their logo without Kojima at the beginning. So the timing's off. The video and the audio is supposed to be in sync, and then they essentially added video and left the audio where it is. So the audio is starting about five seconds too late, and it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. So we can do other things like we get out of this theater. Let's go to another cool one. Oh, we can do the entire ocelot scene. We can do the Navy Seals fortune. We can have literally anyone do the massive Solidus one. Let's say Solidus, you have Snake, you have Ocelot, you have Vamp, you have Fortune, you have Rose, you have Snake, you have the Office Worker. So we can have stuff like the lady being an absolute boss. This is basically when your grandma has enough of your shit. Stupid machines! Kojima was making memes before memes were even a thing. Plot twist. It was Damn granny all along. It was granny all along. So, this is Kojima, ladies and gentlemen. You still have some use. Snake. Snake. Bring him in. Frieza did it. What? You mean Frieza did it? You mean Frieza did it? This one's pretty good. Let's see who we can pick for Raiden. We can do shit like... I don't know. We can have fun with this. What do you mean 1998? What's Snake 1998? Snake MGS1, Snake 1990, what, what, what the fudge? Let's take a look. Let's see how it goes. I forgot which one's which, or are they the same? Or was one during the alpha demo? Oh, here we go. Oh fuck, this came out in 1998? <laughs> what do you mean this came out in 1998? Was MGS2 in development in 1998? Holy shit! <laughs> Kojima, you bastard. Wow, he had this in development in 1998? Holy crap. Plot twist. Holy fuck. So Kojima basically called what's happening in 2019. Basically 21 years before it happened. Holy shit. Do Rose and Raiden? Alright. Should Rose kick Raiden's ass or should Raiden kick Rose's ass? That's the real question. The memes and 
this game are just beautiful. It's the memes! <laughs> the memes! They even put Meryl in here. Oh no, this is from Twin Snakes. White she was. The development team meeting, right? And they were like, alright, how's production of Metal Gear Solid 2 going? I was like, very well. We've done the cinematics. We've done the character models. We have the physics engine. And Kojima's like, alright. I want to put characters into the theater. I need suggestions. It's like, what about we put Twin Snakes... Uh, Snake in there? He's like, alright. He's like, what about we put Meryl in there? He's like, alright. And then the guy's like, why don't we put a middle-aged granny in there? And Kojima's just like... You two, you're fired. You know the meme where they're suggesting things and they just throw people out of the boardroom window? Basically, Kojima just throws out the whole team. Kojima is probably the crazy guy that was asking for this shit and Konami's just like, What? You, you want to spend money on what? It's probably why they wanted him out of Konami. It's like, you fucking idiots. He was way ahead of his time. Way ahead. Alright, Ninja Raiden. Versus... Put this in. See how this looks. Rose kicks right in, obviously. Alright, we'll do that one. We will have the voice talk, yeah. We'll just get a few sponsors. We have the live stream chat. I will go on there soon. So sponsors, start making your way into the live stream chat on Discord. I've enabled it so the sponsors can just pop in. It's a locked room, but sponsors can get in. So let's start the talk very soon. Very, very soon. I can probably also um, get my mods in there as well. Pretty sure I let my mods in. Yeah. Yeah, the mods can go in there. Sponsors can go in there. Patrons can go in there. There we go. So, all the mods, all the sponsors should be able to go into the live stream chat. Right now, Discord will have a chat. Konami, how many memes you want in this game? Kojima, yes. 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 All right. Uh, let's get her in there. Where is she? Where is she? Rose. Yes, there we go. Kicking Raiden's ass. Don't forget to eat your memes. <laughs> Here. 
don't forget to eat all your names. Rose had enough of his shit. <laughs> With the amount of bitching she does on Kodak, I don't know, I'm just saying. They're perfect for each other. Oi, Ecto, I don't know if you realize, you watched MGS 5 and 3, right? Oh, sorry, Devil May Cry 5 and 3? Did you notice the, um, little Devil May Cry nod in, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4? I don't know if you noticed it, but there's a little nod. There's a little nod to Devil May Cry in MGS 4. I don't know if you noticed it. Hopefully you did. Hopefully you did. Alright, I'm gonna go in the chat. Let's see how I can get this. Alright, so I mute this one. I enable this one. I go into the chat here. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. And it seems that can everyone on can stream hear us? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you loud and clear. So, how did everyone enjoy the stream? I'm I'm legitimately curious as to what your reactions were. I I'm curious. Um, I think I'm like if I were the betting man. Without, I've never, I'm still, I'm still new to Metal Gear Solid, so I'm learning as I watch this thing. But at the end, when he said that, um, they, uh, when he made the comment that they were dead, I was like, I know who it is. Who do you think it is? Enlighten us. Give, give us a go, give us a crack. People had like six years to <clears throat> think, think about it. I think if. If, if I had to hazard a guess, knowing the theme, knowing they're calling themselves the Patriots, knowing the theme of the game, and they've been dead for hundreds of, hundreds of years, yeah, I'm going to go with the Founding Fathers. The Founding Fathers? That's an interesting one. Yeah. Including yeah. the fact that the AI did say they were around them. Whatever they are. That's, that's an interesting theory. And one of the AIs is called like, GW. I, like, like, GW, George Washington. And, like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, it's interesting. The whole thing interesting to me because, like, like, I don't get confused with much people because I'm also a very big conspiracy theorist. So this stuff doesn't confuse me as much. Well, the average person might not be into computer theft like I am. Kuma and me can probably go out of hours with computer theft. Oh, I spent too much time watching those videos in high school. That's kind of how I ended up on the internet. I live in America and I don't trust my government. I become a computer theft. No one should truly trust their government. It becomes a problem when the government doesn't trust its own people. Then we're starting to go into a territory where we shouldn't even have to. I will say that Metal Gear Solid had the best title for the game. Mm -hmm. Metal Gear Solid Son of Liberty. Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. Metal Gear Solid Guns of the Patriots. Like... They Don't forget Peace Walker. Name for that game. Don't forget Peace, Peace Walker. Walker. That is a pretty nice title. I'm also looking at the comment chat. MGS 2's plot as clear as mud. Yeah, that that that, that describes it pretty well. <laughs> it's about as clear as I'd mud. I'd say it takes it's a while probably the most clear, cut and dry plot when you honestly think about it. When you unwrap it, yes, but <coughs> when you get it first go, it's hard to digest in one go. There's too many variables. It really is. 
Like there's so many ingredients in it that it's tasty, but you're just you just it's gonna take you a while to be able to taste every individual ingredient. The Phantom Pain. Yeah, that's a pretty sexy title too. What? Uh, yeah. I'm I'm just it like I I, I my my biggest issue with uh, Medica Solemn the what I don't like I've I've heard somebody say I can't remember who it was but they said Medica Solemn is one of the best video game series of all time but they're going down a very dark path they don't have Kojima and the last Metal Gear game they released was an absolute shit show of what I think of Konami can do to it. It, like, officially and non-officially, it basically died when Kojima left. It, it's pretty much as simple as that. It can't really continue without him because he's basically the mastermind of the whole thing. He was He pretty much thought out several games ahead. So everything in 1, 2, 3 is pretty much just setting up for number 4. And number 4 was supposed to be the finale. And then Konami was like, we made a fuck ton of money, broke two Guinness Book records, and, you know, like, we need more. And he's like, but the story's done. I've wrapped it up nicely. I've done this. I've done that. They're like, more, 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 more. And it's like, fuck. Yeah, and that's the problem. They're not going to want to stop. So even if they, <laughs> even if it's, if 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 I uh, lives to decide to hey I want to mind fuck up people with more genre they've never touched oh I want to make my own genre. Well, he kind well, of pioneered stealth gaming. Um, and sorry to cut you off there, Hector. I just saw your thing light up. But he sort of pioneered yeah. it in MGS One. Before that, there wasn't actually a stealth game. There was no hide and seek. Splinter Cell style James Bond espionage sort of thing. It didn't exist. It wasn't a thing. So he helped pioneer even, stealth gaming. Yeah, even Metal Gear 1 and 2 aren't really as stealth oriented as MGS1 was. It is to an extent, but you're going to get caught no matter what. You actually can play um, MGS2. Like, you saw in hard mode, they have the option of it's game over as soon as you're spotted. You can play it that way, but to do it on a live stream that way, we would never get through it. Like, you saw the final section. It had a guard <laughs> and a camera, and you can get past that. You got to, in a way, draw out the guard, knock him out without him realizing you're there, then sneak past the camera before the guard wakes up and reports that something's going on. So you got to do it so perfectly... That, no, fuck that. On a stream? Nah. Nah. And then you've got, say, for example, now that you've finished it, you've got hard, which is for confident, extreme for action game experts, and then European extreme game ends when being seen by the enemy. So it's basically, if you're killing him, it's a one-shot kill. In any context. Like, this fucking Russians play this shit. And it's not an option. It's built into the game mode. So it, it's made in such a way that you can play it stealthily, but I don't know. It lets you choose how you want to play it. You can go into very easily and just fuck with the AI, or you can go in extreme and let the AI fuck you. You know, you, you get to pick your ride. <laughs> fuck, I just, I just realized what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized what I said. Metal Gear literally was a stealth game because um, MSX couldn't handle too much shooting. Yeah, exactly. It couldn't handle too many things on the screen at once. And you see that in Metal Gear Solid 1 as well. I believe they have a maximum of two of or three guards on the screen at any given time. Even in Twin Snakes, it's only three guards. And in MGS2, it went up to, I believe, five or six. Um, which is why if you sort of knock them out and they're asleep on the floor, reinforcements stop coming. And if you kill them, they just despawn. So... Technological limitations were always a thing, even in uh, MGS3. But they got around that with artillery being bombed your way. And then when it came to MGS4, they could just add tanks in there, so they don't need to worry about adding <laughs> troops. They'll just throw a oh, tank man. at you. And if you've got three tanks was... on you, you're basically fucked, right? So yep. they got around oh, that God. tech limitation by just making the individual unit worth that much more. So they got around that. Um... And then you've got the Phantom Pain, 
where you can literally be surrounded by, I don't know, 20, 30 troops plus mortars. Uh, I don't know if the attack helicopters come out. I don't think they have implemented that, but basically like, yeah, it, 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 will, it will fuck you. So, you know, they had to adapt. But again, every single title you can play with perfect stealth. And uh, if you actually do it and you get your big boss ranking, you know, congratulations. If you do the entire MGS3 without being spotted once, you get stealth camo, which is from MGS1 you get for free if you rescue Otacon instead of Meryl and Meryl dies. You get the stealth camo. In MGS2, if you get, I believe, 200 dog tags, you get the stealth camo. And in MGS3, if you complete the whole game without being spotted, you get the stealth camo. In MGS4, it's some other thing. I believe it's also you go through the whole game without being spotted. Um, and you Honestly. Can do... Yeah, go on. Yeah, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot easier to not get spotted in MGS3 when the more you think about it with the, the, you know, the camo index and all that stuff. The only thing is first time playing. That was the first MGS game I played. I was still getting used to the controls. So I would always run into this problem where what I would do is... You know how when you go into the into the bushes, it focuses the first person camera. Well, I would peek out a little bit to get into the third person camera, and I would end up getting spotted. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a little getting used to, and it, and it wasn't a perfect system. You know, there's no perfect system. There's a lot of there's always going to be one of these things that can be improved. But it did a pretty fucking good job adding in the camo. Uh, index to a big environment like that, it really changed the gameplay. It made you feel like you're actually on a mission in the forest because you had to adapt to nature. You had to eat to keep your stamina up. Otherwise, your health bar would go down. Uh, your stamina would go down. Your hands would shake. Um, you couldn't just put a suppressor on your weapon. You actually have to get a new one after a while. It wears out. Uh, ammo was difficult to get. You had to actually procure all your weapons on site. You had to keep procuring food. Um, you could also get your stamina up by saving and turning off the system for a few hours, which emulates sleep. It, it really, you know, bumped up the way it played, and then it carried that through to MGS4 and 5. So with each installment, there's a significant improvement to the gameplay, but as always, that you know, is, nothing's perfect. That is why I, I've actually learned, learned this now. I mean, most people say replay it in release order no matter what, especially first time playing. If you play it in release order, you get the whole story and all that stuff. But even if you go back and play it, say do a marathon, you cannot play it chronologically because you have to adjust the controls each and every time. Mm. Like, yes, if you if you played it chronologically and you know you did MGS3, then Portable Ops, then Peace Walker, MGS5, and then by the time you get to MGS1, it's primitive again. And all of the advancements that you would get in, in those later and not there. Hmm. Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, I play. I learned that the hard way because remember, you told me to go and play MGS two. Well, I was gonna wait for the stream, but I was like, nope, can't wait. Want to finish MGS three? So I went and played MGS two. I found it so difficult. The fact that, well, I didn't realize until that one particular scene where you got to get the the guy to do the retinal scanner. I had no idea the action button while not hold like you know the you know hitting square button while not holding anything actually grabs the guard because mm -hmm. i was so used to it in um in mgs3 where it's circle that's the cqc button yeah it changes and i had that difficulty in mgs3 because i didn't know how to again. let go it's r1 yeah yeah it does i had that problem in mgs3 i i basically sucked at CQC because I would hold up the guard and I didn't know how to take away the knife without slitting their throat. So the first time I played one of the boss fights was literally me walking for 40 minutes. For 40 fucking minutes. That's how many people I killed. 40 minutes of walking. Fuck my life, right? Oh god. I, I never I actually... I, know listen, I When I was growing up, I never got into um... Uh... Um, I never got into, um, uh, Metal Gear because I never got, a, I didn't have a PlayStation, um, until 2, and by the time I got into PlayStation 2, they already had a couple games into it, and I didn't, like, I, 
I sort of made this excuse of now I have to go back and there was other things. I like it, it because I started in with Nintendo and not PlayStation. I like I grew up with Nintendo. I got the 64, not the PS1. That's why I never actually played this. Even when the Phantom Pain came out, I'm like, I know nothing about Metal Gear. I'm gonna be confused. Yeah, Phantom Pain is one of those things that it lets you jump into the game and enjoy it as a standalone, but you won't appreciate it without knowing the world that it's set in. Yeah, and I figured even if, like, it's like, it's like, it's like Kingdom Hearts. You could understand, like, you could jump in and play uh, 3, but you're not going to un fully understand or appreciate it unless you play the 3 one. Pretty much. And that, I think that always kept some people away from, even though, um, is that a minimum? Sorry, I thought I heard something, I couldn't forget what it was. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Damn it. We're talking about Kingdom Hearts 3, how some people shy away from it just because oh, it's um, got a big backstory. But even with people not being, not playing it, like, it, even with, um, um, even with, um, people not playing it, like, like, you might have a lot of people who never got, never had a PlayStation and never played it. Um, I always admire the fact that it was such a good game that even people who didn't play it knew who Snake was. They knew who he was. They knew what he did. They knew about the box. And it come, I think it transcended. Kojima made that transcend his own game. Yeah, it's become like a gaming icon, essentially a Super Mario or a Pikachu sort of thing. Or Sonic. It's like he's become a legend in video game. You barely see the uh, characters who transcend their own game to mm. the entire culture itself. Like when people act, oh, we need video game characters Pac Man, Sonic, Snake, and uh, Super Mario. Mm. Those are some of the big names they'll tell you. Even with most people may not know who the hell Nick is, they know who you think. They, I mean, they don't know where he's from, but they'll know that's Nick. He is a stealth uh, agent. And I've always admired that about Kojima because even though he is bad shit insane, that man is insane. And I have to confess that that man is not human. What? Who's not human? Fat man. Ko Kojima is an alien. I will n die on that hill. Hmm, I interesting. Mean, like, you, you think he's a time traveler because he predicted so much stuff? Then why didn't he oh, buy enough oh, lotto oh. tickets? A human being would not have... His brand new game, uh, what's it called again? You might want to check the screen for a second. Death Stranding. Nick, Lady, Salad of What? Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? But, um... Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. Oh, wait, End is of this a liar. Scene where, um, Americans are too in love with picked. the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Yeah, and it's the Identify old lady. yourself. I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. I think the old lady's gonna have her day. I just wanna see what the next part looks like. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. Alright, 
See ya, Matt. I'm glad you enjoyed. Nobody move. Understood. It might actually just be my favorite in the series. So I don't think anything will top it. So what the what the uh, next uh, game on the? Um, the one I currently thought. winning the vote is actually Kingdom Hearts. So Kingdom oh, Hearts yeah, is yeah. leading the vote, but there's like a few second places one point behind. But the vote is ending today, so there's a good shot it's going to be Kingdom Hearts. Uh, and i got to figure out how I'm going to play it. I think it came with the collection that I bought, so I think it should be okay. Yeah. Then it should be fine. I just took up the um, PlayStation 4. Okay. Chain of Memories? Yes. You might have to talk to um Xenoid about that. It's okay. Chain of Memories is not. <sighs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll sort of we'll chat it on the Discord talk to him and about we'll figure it, it out. Because it's one of those weird things where um you might have to talk to him about that because. We'll figure it out. I, well, it, it's not important. We'll figure it out. It, we'll make it work. We'll, we'll see what we'll do during the week. It, we'll, we'll worry about it then. We'll worry about it during the week. But yeah. Yeah, you could talk to Star on that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. But as you can see, we've wrapped up MGS2. We've done a few memes. Uh, we're going to have to wait till the end of MGS3 before I can show you guys the actual video memes from Newgrounds. Uh, because there are a lot of MGS3 ones, so we can't touch those until MGS3 is done. But uh, what if I was to tell you, Matt, that MGS3 happens, like, in 1960? Uh, I think I knew that. Oh, you did? All right, okay, cool. Uh, I know one of them takes place... Like, I know... All I knew about it was... I think it's Snake Eater would take place in the 1960s, around the era of Vietnam. Yeah, it's the, the it's the, it's the months following the uh, well, the Cuban Missile Crisis and the and the Kennedy assassination. Oh, the Kennedy. So uh, LBJ is actually. I'm gonna leave before I start ranting on the Kennedy assassination. That triggers me all the time. Yeah, we could open up a can of worms that could last two days. AKA like, during the Cold legitimately? War. Yeah, it happens during the Cold what, War. What, what the Titanic is to Ecto, the, Ken the Kennedy assassination is to me. Hey man, let's not talk about the greatness of the Slavic nations. Let's not open up that can. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. God, what are you doing now? I think we all have... Oh, I'm just making memes. Like, I'm just letting memes play in the background. Why not? That that That's what the memes, memes of liberty flow. are all about. Come on, you gotta tell me. It works. It works. It does. It's funny. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Especially the high-tech soldiers. It just beefs it up so much better. Alright guys, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to let this meme play out and then I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're doing Mass Effect. i got to make that event really quickly. And today i got to go um, to yeah, the Comic okay. Con thing. Uh, no, Supernova, sorry. And uh, try to get a question out of David Hayter. So what am we going to ask him? We, we're going to ask him a question. It's probably a Q&A. Oh, man, I don't even know. We really have to make him uh, say the Kuma thing. That's kind of more of a request, but I could phrase it as a question. Can you say this? <laughs> that would be amazing. Like, that would be like perfect for the streams. It it would be. It would be. But it would be hard to get it in high quality audio because there'll be so many people around. That's the only uh, concern. Yeah, that's why I want to try to get a selfie with him so you can actually do it privately on Twitter or something. <laughs> <laughs> if he does that, it's just absolutely perfect. Yeah, you're a lucky bastard, you know that? Oh, oh fuck, dude, like, I, t I almost missed it. Like, I was coming home on Friday, I'm like, wait, is that this weekend? Like, I, I totally dropped the ball on that one. If I missed it, I, I would, I would, oh my god, like, I would, fuck me. I'd probably jump off a bridge or something. <laughs> Which is pretty appropriate for this game. Did you jump off, jump off a bridge like like Snake did? <laughs> Just land on a tanker.
<laughs> Some guy jumps off a bridge and dies oh. on a tanker because he missed David Hayter's appearance. Irony. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be hilarious. It's one way to go out. Uh, you need also you need also react to the the everything wrong with there's there's MGS uh, MGS one twin snakes and MGS two out currently MGS three I assume will be out in about two weeks. Uh, then I will have to do it. That will be a great thing on the reaction channel to sort of. Uh... Oh my god, it's so great! It's so great. Like because I know people have sinned Metal Gear Solid One. No, as far as I'm concerned, nobody's seen the Twin Snakes. I think everybody's just seen Metal Gear Solid One, and I've seen I've seen uh, Revengeance, and I've seen Five. I have not seen anybody sin Two, Three, or Four, which will be really fun. Mm, mm. So yeah, he's he's doing. He says uh, apparently he actually just posted a video saying that. He might be live right now. I think he's doing his research stream for MGS4. I might go watch it because, honestly, I wasn't expecting this stream to wrap up so quickly. I, for some reason, I thought you would be stuck on that part for an hour. I, I was <laughs> worried about that, too. I sort of factored in that that fight would be 30 minutes of failing, to be honest. and Literally, for good it's like reason. quarter after eight. For good I, reason. I technically don't have to go to sleep. Yeah, I have to get up at like five, uh, f six o'clock tomorrow morning, but I don't need to go to sleep right now. Mm. Well, you can go watch some memes and enjoy. You've sort of, um, you can't watch MGS5 streams, so just be careful with that. Just be very careful with that. Just let people know that you haven't played five yet, so they don't, you know, spoil it. It's pretty good. <sighs> Yeah, but I was watching too, and nobody was dropping spoilers for any of the later games, which was nice. Yeah, well, people are kind of nice, you know. As soon as you mention because that because he actually said because at the beginning of MGS two he said how many people here are actually blind to this, and there's a fair amount of them. It's like okay, um, let's just keep it MGS one spoilers only for now. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. And the community like, is very Yeah, they were that. pretty chill. I, I watched the first uh, 30 minutes of the MGS2 stream, and it was pretty hilarious. Yeah, people people are really... Yeah, the community is really great for that. You just tell them, there's blind people, don't spoil it. They're like, okay, we won't spoil it. And it just it works. I like that. There's no dickheads, to be honest, which is really good. That's what I like about it. And the memes are just fucking great. The memes. The goddamn memes. You just need to play the whole series to appreciate some of these memes. Mate, we don't play the series for the game. We play it so we can appreciate the memes. That's what it's about. <laughs> Fuck the game. It's Basically, like watching anime, right? You don't even give a shit about the anime. Like, you just want to watch the abridged series. I'm torn. I want to. I could go watch the. I could go watch that stream. Um, actually, I need to write up my backstory for my D and D character because there are sessions tomorrow. So I better do that quick. Maybe I'll continue portable apps. I don't know. I started briefly started portable apps. I did not get very far. Because I'm still getting used to the controls, because I'm using an Xbox 360 controller in my PSP emulator. So I'm quickly finding out that the left stick moves you. The right stick does nothing. You have to use the D-pad to move around the camera. It's so annoying. Fuck. Yes. I'm like, can I... Like, I, I'm seriously debating whether or not just go out again in PSP just to play this game because I'm like they're probably dirt cheap at this point I just pick up the game I don't have to deal with this <laughs> mm, you get used to it after a while I probably will though I've heard though apparently I, I, I just looked up the time to beat it apparently portable ops is only about 12 hours oh portable ops yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not too difficult and it's a really good story that's what I've heard I mean, right from the get-go. I mean, I won't say anything, but man, right from the get-go, I was like, wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's really well made, especially on the PSP. I was really upset that like I basically bought the PSP to play it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like it was just like buying uh... a console for an MGS game. Fuck it. Like it was like three hundred, four hundred bucks. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. It's like, I'm, so I'm just for that game. So here's another damn control steam to get used to, and by halfway through the game, I'll get used to it, and then, boom, I'll pick up Peace Walker, and they'll change the control steam game again. Pretty much. That's Pretty why much. I wish if they ever did, you know, if 
if they did, ever did full like you know HD re re releases, you know like redid the cutscenes and all that stuff and the gameplay and stuff, they just stick to one universal control scheme. To be fair, they actually changed the controls in MGS2 on this HD release. They actually changed a lot of the controls. They used to be more universal. X used to not get you in. Circle used to be enter. X used to be back. And for some reason, they changed it to X because I think all the Western games use X as enter. So they remapped yeah, it on the HD release. I was so used to the HD collection that when I started, when I started Portable Ops, I was confused again because I actually did because i actually did try and do the p yeah i think i told you i tried to put uh mgs3 on a ps2 emulator on my yeah. computer yeah it runs fine no issues but besides that i'm sitting here and i'm hitting you know i'm i'm, I'm using my I'm, I'm using my xbox controller obviously so i hit the a button and nothing happened like it it just on the menu and then and then, uh, you know, I say I accidentally hit the button, go into another menu, I back out, and I was utterly confused. And then, sometimes out of force of habit, when I'm in the menu, I will just hit the A button and back out and go back into the, gr back into the game, and I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a learning cur curve on the controls. That's probably why I didn't do very good on MGS3. Or two, because three was the first one, so that was already a massive learning curve on the controls. Then when I started two, it was adapting to those, adapting to the MGS2 controls. That's why when I got to four, and they pretty much stuck with what, what MGS2 had, changed a few things here and there. It was a lot easier to grasp. So I actually did a lot better with MGS4. I think I ended up getting, um, well, you saw my, you saw my screenshot. I ended up getting Eagle. Yeah, 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 because you got a lot of headshots. Yeah, versus uh, I think I got Crocodile and MGS three. I think Pig in MGS two. Because you, you ate a lot of shit. I think Crocodile's for eating a lot of shit. You ate a lot of rations or something. Or yeah, I had. I think Pig might be a lot of rations. Well, it's something. It's yeah, something. I consumed. I consumed raf rations like nothing. God, I'm not good. I'm not good at like. <laughs> and then I I posted my stuff and and another server, and he's just like, "Don't worry, dude. You know, once you replay, once you replay the games, you'll get better at it." It's like, I'm not planning on doing any replays until I finish MGS Five. <laughs> yeah, but it's one of those things where you can replay it and have fun with it because you know you can make it a challenge, and it, it's a fun thing. And you won't pick up everything yeah. the first time. There'll be stuff that you miss, guaranteed. And that's what makes it awesome. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And experiencing it again after you know the twist, you start seeing all the little things, which just makes it awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for coming. I'm going to leave the stream up as it is for a little while. At some point, I will start releasing the edited LPs, but we're in no rush to do it now because I think the quality of the stream was just top notch. You know, it was just great. There's nothing that really needs to be taken out. We didn't have issues. We had a little bit of a blooper at the beginning, but meh, wouldn't be a stream if we didn't have a blooper. Yeah, I need to play catch up because I only got about it. Well, it, well, I think I got about two hours into the last stream, and I haven't probably because I was so fin like hell bent on finishing M MGS four. That's fine. That's fine. You've got plenty. God, of time. that was like. I mean, I was surprised because I wasn't nearly as half asleep as why I was with them. I was able to sit through it a lot better and 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 whatnot but yeah it was the long one it was a long one and then when you told me it's like you're past the point of no return just finish it i'm like okay <laughs> just sat it's a there till 2 30 it's just 2 30 grab the fucking popcorn i, I started i started that last bit <laughs> at around like midnight or something and i was there till 2 30 watching the end of the I, I told you to grab popcorn i wasn't joking i was being serious <laughs> grab popcorn grab a drink sit down you've got a movie you thought that meme was full of shit man you got nothing <laughs> no 
<laughs> they have no idea what they're in for. People really don't. Like, they have no idea. <laughs> and some people just skip all the cutscenes. They're like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. Some people just want it for the gameplay. It's like, no, no, no. Well, we'll all get right. there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Kingdom Hearts will have its day, and I'm sure people have been waiting for it. I gotta patch up the Kingdom Hearts LP before we do that, and I'm already editing near Automata. I'm up to the uh, end of the second live stream. Uh, we're already up to the alien spaceship section. So, uh, once the first playthrough of Nier is done, I think B route was very quick in comparison. Um, A route took a little while because I did a lot of things, but B route will be quicker. And then the LP's done and ready for C route. So, uh, very exciting. It's going to be interesting. I, I will say this. Um, once I'm done with MGS5, you and me have to have a one-on-one -on -one voice chat about the entire series. Uh, I'm going to need a bigger whiteboard. <laughs> I'm going to no, need so that a bigger way, whiteboard. Like, full disclosure, I can just talk about whatever I want because like, then I can just talk about it as a, as a whole retrospective. Because typing it all out and, and whatnot, it would just get annoying. It would really would. No, yeah, I, I totally get it. Everyone on the um, thread's going to want to do that as well. Uh, but there is a thing. Once you finish MGS5, um, basically, if you get all the secret stuff, there's something hinted. And it's basically like th taking a grenade and basically... Th imagine your understanding of the MGS plot is parts of a vehicle, like a tank. And by the end of it, you've got this completely built tank. You're like, it looks pretty damn good. And then at the end of MGS5, you just take a grenade, throw it in the middle of the tank, and you just blow it up. <laughs> oh, no. That's basically, yeah. So at the end of 5, even if you watch everything in 5, there's enough little things throughout the series that if you piece it together, it's a completely different angle. Which is what hmm. makes Kojima so... Mind fuckery. There's a reason why Sony just gave him. Are a you saying check. that he he kind of planned five from the start, or, or he something didn't, like that? But he didn't want to like make it just a cash grab. He wanted because five was incomplete. It's only act two. But <laughs> there's enough, yes, there's yes, enough. I've heard that from three different people. You, uh, you and two people of mine who actually one of them actually lent me his PS3. So that's how I played MGS4, and that's how I'm going to play Peace Walker. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. It, it'll, PS3, it'll, sorry, PS3. It'll make sense after you finish MGS5. Like, d d I can't even. There's no use even trying to give you an analogy. It just wouldn't make sense. <laughs> it's a hell of a ride. Yeah, it's a hell of uh, a ride. Just, just ask me in probably a month, and I'll probably be through all of them. <laughs> I, I'll basically that's know great. at what point you've done it because I'll notice the comments and like floods of text and memes and oh my effing god, uh, I'll pretty much get wind of where you're up to. Basically, oh yeah, I basically when like whenever I hit key story points, I will just you know point it out in spoiler tags and be and just give my reaction to it. Yeah, pretty much that works. That's like that's how it works point so of far. MGS4. It worked so far. I knew where you were up to. It worked. <laughs> it was entertaining for everyone, really. I think everyone was enjoying themselves. I wasn't the only one reading yeah. it in the thread. Everyone was having a good time. Uh, it was just fun to watch. <laughs> I just loved it. <laughs> like, live reactions to everything that's going on in the mindfuckery menace. That was checking in throughout the day, even at work, you know? I was just, like, checking in. Where is he up to? It's like, oh, there's his reaction. Smirk on my face. Yeah, I, I actually slammed out... Yeah, I, I slammed out Acts 4 and 5 of MGS4 in a, about 12 hours. I took, like, a... I took a two to three hour break in between X4 and 5. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, I slammed that all out. I think I started at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, played through all of Act 4, took a break, got some dinner. Um, I think I did my homework for, <laughs> for the class. That I got. Yeah, I actually did my homework. And then um, and then I went back, uh, later that night and started act five and then I got stuck in it and I was just like, might as well finish it I might better. Be let's not, let's not pull an MGS three and kill all the emotional value. The ending has 
by breaking it up. Pretty much. And you got to see so many other cool things in MGS4, which were a lot of, you know, f there were fan service moments, but I think all the fans were happy. It, it made the fans That's very the thing. happy. Like, nor, like, it's not really, is it really fan service if it works that well with the context, like, and, and whatnot? It doesn't feel like blatant fan service. Yeah, like it, it works so well within the context of the story that you almost forget that it's fan service. Yeah, he kind of wanted to give a gift to the fans as well. You know, he could have he could have done whatever he wanted. He could have made fans literally cry to death if he wanted to. It, it could have been that easy for him. But I almost like, I almost cried at the ending of MGS Four. Oh, but I almost got. A lot of people cried. A lot of like even people that streamed that they just fucking just break down and cry, and it's beautiful to see. It, that, that's the beauty of the series. It has that much emotional impact. And and that's just beautiful. Like, that's good storytelling right there. Yeah, yeah, the ending hit me in the feels. <laughs> MGS. It will not kick you in the balls. In it will emotional kick you in the balls, thrill. and then it will fucking hit you with a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically it. Oh it kicks you God. in the balls, and then the post-credit ending just hits you with a fire truck. That's basically it. Oh my God. And it's surprisingly accurate. All right, got to wrap it up. Got to wrap it up. Thanks for coming, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Mass Effect. And then next week, we'll probably have Kingdom Hearts. So more big storyline games. A lot of fun. I'll see you guys then. Nijikuma out. Bye.